Okay, this is the new uh, gondola. Here, this is the old one. The old one uh, has a clamp, which is which uses an elastic band. Problem is, you can't see the uh, the point of contact of the pen. So what I've done is I've opened that whole area up, uh, um, and had also I made the clamp. I made it clear. So when we clamp the pen in there, uh, you can still see the pen, and you can see through this. But of course, the holes make it even better. This um, whole piece comes apart. As you can see, these little pieces of acrylic are threaded here, and it's threaded on the base, so that all these little parts here come off. So it's all adjustable. So of course, you have the different parts. There's just these blanks that go in there, and then these are the hangers where you hang from. Then we have the uh, hook for the elastic band, and uh, this is the, uh, the anchor for the, uh, for the clamp. And of course, we have... Um, these pieces here, which, which the pen sits against. I'll get a pen here. And, uh, yeah, the pen, so the pen clamps against there. Now this blank, this piece at the top, it, uh, I supply uh, different si uh, uh, shapes of that piece so that the pen can be at different angles. Some pens, if they're on a very flat wall, they'll run, the ink won't uh, make it to the front. So this allows you to adjust the pen angle by changing that uh, blank. So you can unscrew this. Uh, take, you can change the point of, uh, point of attachment of the cables by moving this to any position. The way the ballast system works is uh, you first uh, hang the uh, piece. And uh, what we'll find is that it's not going to hang exactly uh, perpendicular, or I should say parallel to the surface you're going to write on. So what we need to do is add ballast. So I've got washers in this box here, and uh, we can take some of those and add them out here. So we simply take um, some of these threaded discs and put them on, like so. Bring that all the way down to some position. Then we add the ballast, then another threaded disc. You can add as much ballast and you can move, idle it back and forth along this threaded uh, rod. And you can also add a ballast at the very bottom, like so, then just simply uh, put a lock on that by putting in one of these um, threaded uh, pieces. Well, the way the spools work is, is there are two plates, one that mounts to the wall through these three holes, and then these other three holes which mount the top plate. The top plate has the motor mounted through friction. And uh, in a nutshell, you can adjust the distance between the spool and the wall simply by screwing the, these nuts back and forth along the shaft. So you can change the angle and the distance from the wall. Um, you can also uh, mount this on a board using this bracket. So this bracket matches with the circular shape. And we attach it with these nylon bolts, like so. Just screwing the nylon bolt through. This piece is threaded, that piece isn't. Um, so we just uh, keep rolling here until it is through. Then we take a piece such as this and we simply push that in there. See, so we can clamp that on there. So if you have a large board you like to uh, draw a picture on it or attach the paper to for drawing. Uh, this is a great uh, way to attach these spools. This is the electrical. Uh, it can sit any way uh, that is needed. The USB, which goes to the computer, plugs right here. This is power. It has an ordinary uh, power supply like so, and these two run off to the uh, stepper motors on the spools.